Welcome back to 5-Minute Bible Study. This one I found a little interesting. I think I've never really understood it. And so here is my take on it. So we are doing Matthew 11, 16 to 19. So he's been talking about John the Baptist. And now Jesus says, To what can I compare this generation? They are like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling out to others. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We sang a dirge and you did not mourn. For John came, neither eating nor drinking, and they say, he has a demon. The son of man came, eating and drinking, and they say, here is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is proved right by her actions. So, first, he says, okay, how can I compare you guys? What can I get you to understand? What are you guys like? Here's a good comparison. You guys are like children sitting in the middle of a busy market. People are all around you and you're yelling at them saying, hey, you're not doing what we wanted you to do. We played a happy song and you didn't dance. So then we played a sad song, but you didn't cry. This isn't what we wanted. When we do this, we want you to do that. When we do that, we want you to do this. That's what you guys are like. And let me tell you why. Because you want someone to come help you and bring you closer to God and you want a savior. So I send John to get the ball rolling, but he dresses weird and he eats weird things and he looks weird. He is purer than pure, just the bare necessities. But you looked at him and decided he was possessed or he was crazy or he was a whack job because he was too pure. He was too different. He was too drastic. So I come, the actual son of God from heaven, I come and I couldn't be more similar. I am a human just like you, skin and all this. I am eating and drinking just like you, eating and drinking what you drink, going to weddings, making wine, because we all like wine, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't be more like you in that way. But now you look at me and say, I'm a pathetic drunk. I'm an embarrassment. I hang out with the wrong people. I hang out with losers. Um, so I sent one, you didn't like that. I played a happy song, you didn't dance. I sent a totally opposite. I played a sad song. You guys didn't cry. You didn't do what you were supposed to do with what was sent. They were both too wrong in your eyes. And then the last verse is key when it says, but wisdom is proved right by your actions. Wisdom is shown in how you act, how you respond to something. So when happy music was playing and you didn't dance, you didn't catch on. You didn't catch on that you should dance to happy music. You didn't catch on that you should cry to sad music. Well, your wisdom will show in how you react and act with John and how you react and act with me. I sent you someone simple and pure like John. Are you going to respond to him? Are you going to accept his message? Are you going to obey what he says? No? Okay. Well, now I'm here and I'm just like you, except I'm choosing to make choices and living for God. And I'm loving who God loves. And I'm telling you what God wants. Are you going to obey me? Are you going to listen to me? to the one who's more relatable to you? No? Well, your wisdom or lack thereof is speaking volumes because of what you're choosing to do with what John said and what you're choosing to do with what I said. So I think we want God to look a certain way. We want God to do certain things. I'm guilty of this. And sometimes I don't like the way he looks. I don't like the way 
does things. I don't like the way he answers or supposedly doesn't answer prayer. He doesn't look like what I want him to be like. He's not the savior I want. I want a savior to make my world better, to make my life better in the way that I think better should be. And are we going to walk away from God because he doesn't look the way we expect him to? Or will wisdom lead us to follow him and to trust him, even though it's not exactly what we thought it would be?